hi friends welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to share with you how we can fix uh, one of common error uh, axios uh, request fail with status code 419 so this is common error so when we trying to submit uh, from from uh, our client site application to our laravel backend uh, process so this error is for now so let's see how we can fix this issue so first of all i will demonstrate uh, what are the what is the error we are getting from so this is my uh, login form and this is email address password so i'm going to submit my user credentials to the uh, backend server so i just hit uh, login now but uh, yeah, process is not success because it's providing this error so this is my uh, virtual domain for my local development purposes uh, it's providing uh, 419 uh, unknown status error so this is normally axios error uh, because uh, axios cannot deal with the, our laravel applications so first of all so this issue uh, let me uh, tell about you to what are the background of this project so this is a two part of application one is uh, front end is going uh, going to here yeah, json backend goes to laravel so this is my uh, front end with react.js so this uh, access calling from react uh, the react.js application let me show you uh, you can see this is my uh, react.js application and this is my Uh, this is my login code uh, when i hit that login button is called this uh, this is my uh, uh, virtual domain uh, which is uh, which is created for development purposes in my local uh, see this is uh, my function it used to develop that uh, authentication system with uh, sangram uh, you know uh, one of the uh, easiest way to develop API authentication using Laravel uh, and JD string. So uh, this is common issue. So this is very easy. We can easily fix that issue. We have to do only thing is uh, when we is, uh, install our Sanctum plugin for our Laravel application, there is a two files. See uh, session PHP and Fortify. So that file required. See this session domain and in Portify uh, they are the same uh, requirement for the environment variables so when we go to the e environment file we don't have C C the if I copy the session domain uh, let me try so session domain so there is a no file in uh, there is a no environment variable in env file for the sessions so that's the issue popping up in our client side application so we have to do is we have to implement this uh, session domain and send them domain so we can uh, put our domain like that uh, session domain and send them stateful domain so this is the, uh, our domain so if you have your hosted website you should have to place your uh, now uh, this is my local uh, virtual domain for my application so I put my uh, virtual domain in here so all good for so this is uh, all the thing what we have to do so just uh, set up these two variable inside our e environment file so dot env file in Laravel so if you paste these two into your env file uh, all will be good so let's try this so I'm go back to my uh, client side application. So let me copy here. Is. So this is my username. This is my password. I just hit login now. Yeah, you can. So there's a sound. See, uh, that's work for me. So this is the way of the sorry, uh, resolving this issue. So we able to uh, successfully log into the, our system and. I think hope you got something from this video and thank you very much for watching this video and please uh, subscribe my channel thank you very much